Welcome back to Simplify Mechanic. My name's Thomas. In today's video, today's video is about how I beat up a customer. That's all. You need to stay tuned to figure out what happened. Alright guys, now that I have your attention, I'm going to tell you a little story. It's not recent. It happened back in 2014 before I was officially a mobile mechanic. But, I just got out of the military, I just went through a divorce, and I was starting to work on cars. You know, doing the mobile mechanic thing, but not officially a mobile mechanic. So I was working for some friends, some family, some people that found out about me through word of mouth. I get a call to come out and do a 2002 Ford Explorer going to do an alternator replacement. I go out there, get in contact with the customer. It's a young woman, maybe 22 or 23. She already had the alternator in her hand. Now, what wasn't new. It was used, and it was used bad. Had a little tag on it, and I read she bought it for 25 bucks. So, that should tell you if the alternator is usually 150 and she got it for 25 bucks, might not be the best one. But whatever, you know, I only did a couple jobs at the time. I was just doing whatever the customer told me. I was just like, sure, you want me to put this in? Okay, whatever, that's 100 bucks. Now, I charge her $180 and tell her I'm not replacing that until she gets a new one. So I put it in, everything goes good. I start getting a few more calls. I'm still not a business owner or I haven't started my business, still doing word of mouth, maybe doing one or two calls every week. So here it is, and I can remember this because it's around my birthday, so it was in June. Now, when I did that job, there was still snow on the ground. So it tells you it was a few months prior. So like I said, I'm still taking some calls and texts here and there, but I also have saved all the text messages from people I talked to before. That way, if they message me again, I can see that I've done work for them. I can give them discounts for repeated customer. This is all what I was thinking was when I was gonna start my business, this is what I was gonna do. Now, nobody was getting any discounts back then. I was just charging you a hundred bucks. I didn't even know what to look the prices up on. I was just like winging it. I got the message from the woman saying, hey, I'm having some problems with my front end. Can you come out and do a diagnosis on my tires? And I looked at the number and I seen I had all the messages saved and I was like, oh yeah, how's everything doing? Is the car doing good other than that? Oh yeah, you did a great job. Everything's good. I just need to out this new problem. I was like, okay, no big deal. I set it up, I'm headed out there. You know, tell the wife, hey, got one of my first repeat customers. I think we can make a business of this thing. So I head out there and I get on scene. Well, I can't find the car when I first get there. You know, I'm looking for this Explorer that I worked on. It's like nowhere to be found. And it was not the same address as the one I went to before. This one was a parking lot. I was like, oh, whatever, maybe she's broke down at work. As I'm looking around, I see this guy walking towards me. And he's walking towards me with this mean mug, you know, and he has his like, I'm going to kick your ass walk to you, you know. And as I'm looking around, I'm like, what's this dude looking at? I remember even cracking a joke. I was like, calm down, Rocky. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I said, calm down, Rocky. He didn't say nothing. He was just kept on walking towards me. And he was maybe like 50 yards away. Now, in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have said that, but I thought, you know, I was just bullshitting. Like, hey, look out, Rocky. You're looking pretty tough. I didn't think he was coming to fight me. But boy, I was wrong. He comes out there and he walks right up to me, shoves me. And I guess I was not paying attention because he shoved me and it pushed me against the back of my car. My YouTube subscribers, I don't know if you've ever seen me, but I'm about 270 pounds. I was maybe 250 pounds at that time. I might be a blob now. Five, six, seven years ago, I was that, I was that dude, right? Right out of the military. Now I'm a fat shit, but back then I wasn't. So when he pushed me, it pushed me against the car. And like at first, I was, just, I was just shocked. I was like, whoa. And he takes a step back. So there's maybe five, six feet away from us. Now I didn't go charging at him. I was just like, what the hell? He's like, you ripped my daughter off. And I was like, whoa, whoa, what, what the hell are you talking about, buddy? He goes, you put an alternator in her car four months ago and it quit. And I still had no idea, like it wasn't clicking with me that who she, he called me out, it was her, like, it just was not clicking. Then I seen her come behind the dumpster. I mean, she's probably living there. She probably just walked out of her dumpster bedroom. <sighs> Let's go watch my dad fight the mechanic. So she comes out and I was like, what the hell are you talking about? I said, that was a junkyard part. I said, four months ago? You guys should be leaving me a good review if it made it that long. He said, I want a refund and I want it now. I was like, you're not gonna get any refund. I was like, look, I know you're upset. And I still wasn't pissed off at this time. I was just trying to defuse the situation. I was like, look, I'm sorry that didn't work out. 
I said, but I'm, she called me out to do some other, here I am still thinking I'm going to get a job. I'm like, she called me out to do another job. Let me, maybe I can work something out with you guys, give you a better deal. When you start opening your business, like you'll literally get punched in the face and still be like, okay, I'll do this work. That's how bad you need the money. So I was like, hey, I'm sorry. Maybe we can work something out. And he was saying $150. And I was like, I said, we only charged her a hundred. Hell, he wanted reimbursed for the alternator as well. Like he was wanting the alternator money, the labor money, and I don't know, $25 for interest or something. Like it was out of control. I was like, nah, man, this isn't, it's not gonna happen this way. So we go back and forth a little bit. I mean, I realized, look, they was bullshit and they was just getting me out here to get this money back. And I made a mistake. You should never turn your back arm reach away, you know, especially when they're aggravated, you know, or trying to really get after you. That was just stupid. I turned around to leave. I was going to get back in my car. I was just getting out of the place. Like, I just wasn't comfortable. Now, I wasn't really scared. I mean, this dude was maybe 160, 170. I guess he was an average dude. He was about 5'10", about 170 pounds, you know. I'm 5'10", about 270 pounds, so, you know, I'm a a touch bigger than average width wise i mean i'm only this tall but whatever it's like a bowling ball i guess anyway so i turn around i go to walk away dude and this guy smoke checks me in the back of the head whoa you know and it like stumbled me forward i turn around and this dude is coming full force trying to tackle me he hits me and luckily I got that hundred pounds on him. Cause when he hit me, it just kind of like buckled him. Like he just, Bleh. so I landed on top of him. So now we're laying down, he's laying flat and my big ass is on him. So I don't know if you ever seen MMA or whatever, but I gave him some ground and pound like his fucking mom wouldn't forget. I mean, I was lighting him up, boom, boom. Now given, like I said, this guy's a hundred pounds less than me. So I'm not fighting you know, Hulk Hogan or anybody, but I was getting him. Well, he got tired of that. So he rolled over and I got him in this chokehold. First of all, I got him in the chokehold because that's what happens. If you roll over on your stomach, you're giving your back up because you don't want hit. You're going to get choked. That's just, that's how it is. So I'm starting to choke him. And I do that not because his neck's right there. I'm doing it because this 30 second fight has killed me. I am winded. If he gets out of this thing, I don't care if he's 110 pounds. He's going to kick my ass because I can't breathe at this point. So I'm hanging on to dear life like this, while this dude's chucking and bucking, you know. And I was like, I don't care, dude. I'm just going to, I'll strangle him to death, dude. I don't care. Because I ain't letting go because I ain't getting beat up by this 50-year-old 150-pound guy. Like, no way. I just got out of the Marine Corps. If I get my ass beat by this dude, oh, like, mm-mm. So I was just hanging on. So I'm choking him, dude, and his life's going out of him. His daughter or wife or daughter and wife, one, two and one, came over there and started jumping on us to break it up. He didn't pass out, so I didn't choke him out. He gets up like stumbling, right? So he was about to go out. And then I looked down and I choked him so hard for so long that he pissed himself. Piss all down his leg. I was like, oh my God, like I killed this dude, everything, but stop breathing straight pissed down his leg and he was so mad about that like you made me piss myself like that's how mad he was like <laughs> like you're yelling at me because you got beat up I remember there was arby's or racks or something because we was in this parking lot and the manager comes out and like i'm calling the cops i'm like go ahead call him this dude just attacked me well him and his girlfriend wife sister cousin take back off headed towards the trash can and then i see the explorer pull out and take off the explorer that he said was broke down he got in that bitch and drove off alternator working fine as can be he just drove off well the cops were supposed to be on their way i didn't want to run from it because look i wasn't in the wrong this dude attacks me and he had, the vehicle was still working so this dude was just trying to get money to pay off his dumpster rent so i'm sitting there waiting i wait like an hour the cops never show up that's when I realized, I was like, I could have been dead. Like, I could have choked that guy to death, then cut him up. Well, that way, I better not get carried away. Get my video demonetized talking about this shit. Anyway, I'm just saying the cops did not care. They did not show up. I sat there for an hour. Not just because that, because it took me an hour to get my win back. And I woke up the next day, bro. I was sore for a week. I couldn't even work the next day. Like, I was telling my wife about it. She's like, you sure you didn't get beat up? Because I bet that dude's at work. Look at you on the couch. It was so bad. That's when I realized, look, hey, I'm not a fighter anymore. Hell, I'm not even a lover anymore at my old age. I got one fight left in me, and I'm saving it for the person who breaks into my house. 
which is going to be the next video because something happened to us but I'm going to save that for later. So that's my story for you that happened. And that was how I got started in this mobile mechanic business. That's how I fought the customer. That's how he pissed himself. And I'm sore nine years later over it. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Our one year mark is in like two weeks. I like to get to 1800 before we hit our one year mark. Once again, I got a membership. Check in the descriptions. All my tools are in the descriptions. Everything's in the descriptions. If you want to send me a dollar Christmas present, it's in the descriptions or Cash App, Venmo, all that stuff. But like always, simplify till next time.